Okay guys, so if you don't want to hear me just talk about a lot of products and stuff, this is probably where you just end the video. Because all I'm going to be doing now is kind of showing you some stuff that I like for my hair and stuff that I didn't really like. So, um, some things work for some people's hair and not for others. Like my hair is, I guess you would call it medium thick, maybe. And, um, I guess maybe waist length. I'm not really sure. It's not quite, you know, longer than that. Very much longer than that yet. But it's kind of in the middle. You know, below waist and not quite to my bottom yet. So, but anyway, um, so it's wavy. It's not curly. I do get little curls here that turn into frizz and like by my ears and stuff. And then like you saw, it's just wavy. And if I put gel or something in it, then it easily, you know, I could put it on top of my head with gel and it easily crunches, which I show you in one of the videos that I have. Okay, so... Like I said, if you don't want to hear me talk about um, products, just go ahead and end the video. So, okay, let's do some stuff that I don't like for my hair, okay? So, some of this stuff is really good. I know one that I don't like and I don't have it with me or a couple of them. Tresemme does not work in my hair. Um, it makes it feel like straw. And along the same kind of results would be Mane & Tell, um, you know, the horse shampoo that everybody... Uh, that they say you can use, you know, that they have in the regular shampoo, you can use it on regular hair too, but they, the main and tail, everybody talks about, I remember I had this teacher who said how great it was, she had really long, pretty, wavy, really pretty hair, and she said she used main and tail and it made her hair grow like crazy, and it makes my hair feel like straw. So I think it's just a texture thing, what kind of hair you have, I don't know. I don't know if hers, what kind of hair, she liked it, and I, it just doesn't feel good on mine. Uh, Tresemme feels the same way as main and tail to me when I use Tresemme. That's what it feels like to my hair. It makes it feel like straw. Um, another one that does the exact same thing is, inf uh, how do you say it, infusion? Infusium? Whatever, I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce it because I don't use it enough to care. I don't even know why I still have it. I guess I, I use it on my dogs. <laughs> I'm not saying anything against that product because um, I know a lot of people like it. Like I said, it's a hair texture thing. It's just not good for my hair. Um, a couple of things that... Um, Worked on some other people's hair that I know that they liked and recommended, and then again, I didn't really care for it, was this stuff from Dollar Tree. Um, now, do, there is some th are, <laughs> there are some things from Dollar Tree that I do like, but this just isn't them. Um, I have this saved for my dogs also. And I don't mean that to be like offensive or anything, but I don't want to throw it away, so I use it on my dogs. Um, this one, I have the, I think I have the shampoo and conditioner of this one. This is keratin oil shampoo. Now, somebody else really liked this, so maybe she has thinner hair, um, but it's real watery to me. It feels like when you put it in there, it just slides right off, you know, like your hand, like it doesn't, you can't even get it to get enough in your hand to um, get it up to your head to, I don't know, that's just what it felt like to me. So it's too watery for me. It's not, I like really thick shampoo, kind of, and very thick conditioner. Um, same thing with this one. They kind of like the same thing. Uh... Well, with the conditioner, I don't think it was quite as bad. It was more the shampoo. The conditioner is just so-so. Um, now, on generic type stuff or cheaper stuff that I do like, if you're a Pantene fan, which I've always been, except until kind of recently, I noticed that it was kind of, I was having problems with losing more hair. And somebody said that that was the Pantene, uh, that when they used it, I, I think two people said that they, when they used it, it was making them lose, they noticed that they were losing more hair. But if you are a Pantene fan, this seems to me a lot like Pantene. It's like the generic version that you can get if you have the store in your area. We have HEB here in Texas, and this is Hill Country Fair, and it's like their version of Pantene. So maybe you could try your store brand's version of Pantene. This is like half the price probably, and it really works just the same. Um, okay, uh, things that I love from Dollar Tree. This is my absolute favorite, and I use it like regular conditioner. I'm not kidding. I use this all the time now. I discovered it, I guess, like maybe a month and a half ago, maybe. This is Salon Selectives, if you remember them from the 80s, the big hair commercials with the girls all walking down, and they had the big, curly, poofy, you know, high hair and stuff, and they would do the Salon Selectives commercials. This is what that is, I guess, and they have the whole line at Dollar Tree. They have the shampoo and... um Something else like, oh, hairspray. I have the hairspray. So I'm not crazy about all of them yet. And I'll tell, I mean, or 
it's so so. So this though is go. I, I wish I would have brought them all in here with me. I have like maybe ten of these or eight or something because they're only a dollar, and I know how Dollar Tree is, and I know that they will eventually not carry them or run out of them, or you know how it is with Dollar Tree. You, sometimes they have stuff, and sometimes they don't. So I love it so much that so I use it like regular conditioner. So I'll have conditioner for a while. Um, this is the argon oil shampoo that they have and um, I feel like I'm just rambling and rambling and this is gonna be a really long video and <laughs> take forever to upload Um, this is okay I put it back up in the cabinet so I'm not like I'm not like as crazy about it as the conditioner but it's okay as a backup shampoo I will use it again it's okay it's just like I said it's a little bit it's hard to lather I guess that's what I mean by the watery stuff is they don't really you know when you lather it up and you get a lot of lather and stuff in your hair they don't really lather but that's kind of how sulfate free shampoo works too I don't know if you've ever use that but if you have it doesn't really lather but this is not sulfate free shampoo so it's not worth not having a lather daily defense um shampoo this is better i think actually than the salon selectives this is another one from dollar tree and it's a dollar and it's a b you know i guess on shampoo it's nothing fancy or anything but it's it's fine i like it okay um things that, another thing that i love is dry oil from organics and organics is the, is the line that I like to use on the sulfate free shampoo um, that I was talking about not lathering if you don't know what sulfate free shampoo is it doesn't have all the harsh uh, detergent type stuff that's in regular shampoo so I am a fan of it I just don't buy it all the time um, because it doesn't lather and so I kind of go back and forth with it because it is better for your hair though and lots of people swear by it and I go, one month I use it, one month I don't. So uh, when I do, though, I use organics. So this is the organics argon oil. Um, this is the dry oil. So I have two of these. Not not the dry oil, but two argon oil. Um, Moroccan argon oil. So I have this one that I use more kind of like as just a little touch-up. Kind of give it some shine and just run through real quick. Then I have this one that I use on like the ends of my hair during the day, maybe after the shower. Take a little frizz out or anything. Love both of these. And I have one more that I use. And to me, honestly, I think these are the same thing. Um, hold on, let me get my hair off of it. I broke the top off of this one. I say that in every video that I show it. This is the coconut milk serum from Organics. And I think they're the same because I looked on the back and the ingredients look pretty close except for the fragrances. So I think it's the same thing. Except for fragrances and like little different, you know, but... The main ingredients are the same. Okay. Um, didn't really care about this too much. I like Dove Lotion and Dove Body Wash, but didn't notice anything for this. Uh, not that I think that I'm so old or anything, but my hair is kind of getting older. I mean, it's how many years now? This is 2015, so 2011. Yeah, so it's getting up there. Um, at least the ends of stuff. So I got this, and I thought, I guess this is for, you know, this is for older hair. Maybe it means older hair that's growing. From your scalp you know and you're older I don't know but I got it I didn't really notice any big difference you're supposed to just put it on there and kind of like during the day or something it's okay it's it, nothing wrong with it but didn't really do anything for my hair love this uh, this is gorilla snot gel and this is in um, another one of my videos where I do the crunchy updo and crunchy hair mm, excuse me this is what I use now when you use this this is like glue, like it's, oh, it says snot gel. I mean, when you use it, I'm going to do my sleeves there. You're just going to use, I mean, just a little dime, maybe. Um, I use it on wet hair when I do like the crunching after I've put everything else in. Last thing before I get ready to go ahead and uh, uh, the final kind of look. Um, because once you put this in there, it's super, you're not going to be able to brush your hair through, I mean, brush through it or anything, so... Or at least I can't. But so just use a little bit of that if you use it. But it works great for crunching because it really holds it. Um, hairspray. I'm just not a big deal on hairspray. I use any hairspray. I change them all the time. Nothing that I swear by. Aussie Mega. That's what I'm using right now, and I'm happy with it. It holds my hair fine. I also have the one that I showed you a while ago. I don't know where I put it. The, um, this one. Salon Selectives. I have one in each bathroom. So whichever bathroom I'm in, that's the one I use. Now, if I was going to say something about a hairspray that held and I needed it to hold for a really long time and not move anywhere, I would say it is the, um, I'll cover up my friend, 
quit. Uh, <laughs> um, I would say it's the got to be glue, I think it's called. Uh, it's that yellow and gray looking can. You can get it at Walmart or grocery stores and it's like six dollars. It's like it freezes it, man. It just it really does, it just glues it. You spray it on there and it just freezes your hair right where it is. So don't use that on like a down type style. I think it's more like for you just don't want it to move. Okay, so I think that's pretty much everything, except for I do like this comb. Lots of people uh, said how great this comb is. This is from Conair. And um, the only reason I really think that it's such a big good is because I have two big combs. The other one's teeth aren't like this. So this is why I like this one. If you notice, it has these little things on the end here. And I think that that helps to not kind of, you know, just grab your hair and rip it out. So um, I know there's something else that I can't think of it. Oh, coconut oil. If you watch my other videos, you know which coconut oil. I'm very clumsy in case you hadn't noticed before. Um, I like, again, this is my own personal preference. I like the Luann cooking coconut oil. And so many people are going, oh no, that's not the right one. But for me it is because uh, it's the one that works for me. So like I said, it's all a hair texture thing. Um, I don't like the uh, refined one. But everybody says you have to have the refined one, don't use the other one because it's for cooking. So if you have hair maybe like my texture, then the Luann is probably better for you. It's thicker and it does the job. I put it in, watch my coconut oil video and I'll tell you more about it, but that's the one that I would use. And I like olive oil. I really like olive oil just to run through the ends of my hair. And I think that's another thing that kind of keeps it healthy. It keeps it from being dry now and getting damaged. So, and then don't use the heat very much, okay? Once, twice a month, if you can stand it, don't just, and then keep it minimum. Like I said, when I straighten my hair, I do it very quickly, just 10 minutes, if that. So, anyway, I hope that that helped you with any questions on products and stuff that you have. And I can't think of anything else right now off the top of my head that I just love or don't love. So, that's pretty much it. So, sorry.